It's 80s time. <laughs> All right, so today we're looking at the song 10,000 Lovers from TNT. Underrated song, underrated band, on a sweet, sweet Jackson Crackle. Boom! Gotta give a big shout out. Thank you to Sweetwater for letting me borrow this guitar. I'm sending it back to him, but I was like, I need a super 80s out guitar for this video. So if you want to check one of these out for yourself, it's linked down below in the description. Let's get to the lesson, yo. All right, now first things first, the actual song is tuned down a half step. I'm in standard tuning, Floyd Rose, wasn't messing with that. So I just kept the guitar in standard tuning. And it starts out with this big old open string. Make sure you got your reverb cranked up, 80 tone style. And you have these just trademark 80s, kind of like power chords or you know uh, harmony chords, whatever you want to call them. And you're gonna hold down sixth fret on the G and seventh fret on the D. So open low E string, and this is kind of the theme. You're bouncing from the low E string to the D and the G doing these chords. Okay, now you go back to the low E string and it's palm muted twice. See, it's really quick, it's fast. I do bound to do. Now, what happens is you go back to the D and the G and you roll your middle finger, at least this is how I'm doing it, and I get seventh fret on the D and G. Now, you can either use your ring finger and double, double down like that. I just kind of roll my middle finger back and forth. This is the part I see so many people not do. He actually plays the low E string once and then twice. So a total of three times after you play that seventh fret on the D and the G. So that's one of the things to me that made the riff so cool, this funky little palm muting pattern. All right, now after those palm mutes, you go back to that six on the G and seven on the D. You're just constantly rotating between the six, seven and seven, seven. Okay. Right, so we have. Back to the low E string, two palm mutes, so. Now this time you're gonna do six, seven, then seven, seven. Boom, you double down that time. And then the sweetest thing ever. It's just straight out of that blues scale, but it's super heavy palm muted. And I always heard that I'm like, that tone is just brutal. And always, like I said, he's just walking down E minor blues scale. You go five to seven on the low E string, then seven on the A. Now you're gonna walk down, adding the flat fifth this time. Seven, six, five, three on the low E string. So right back to the open low E string, but it's a real heavy palm mute. So not this. It's, hear that? How you, like when you really dig in, it gives you that super thick staccato we sound. And right back into the riff. All right, so you pretty much just go back to the beginning, open low E string, sixth fret on the G, seventh fret on the D, palm mute the low E string twice, seventh fret on the D and G twice. Guitar whoosh, A chord, the next riff, which always makes me think of one skinny bop. It's just fifth fret on the low E string to second fret on the low E, fifth fret on the low E string again to third fret on the low E string. I always thought that was so cool. And that's gonna be it guys. Let me know some other 80s riffs that you would like to check out. I'll be making lots of videos on them here real soon. Again, shout out to Sweetwater for letting me check this out. If you would, check the affiliate links down below. I appreciate them. Just let me borrow a bunch of these guitars and this one is all 80s out. So until next time guys, hit the subscribe button. Yo, I'll see you later. End it 80s. End it 80s. Hey, not even end it bluesy. End it 80s. <laughs>